the duty of a wife should be to step down her husband when he's high in anger. But in your case, you're the one fueling my brothers to fight themselves and kill themselves. Soroji started it by encouraging her man to destabilize the royal family. Princess Adora, warn this lizard to avoid climbing my wall, else I'll crush her to death. Wait a minute. Are these the things my brothers are getting married to? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Oh, she is the shameless one. I met my husband as the heir apparent to the throne of Umumba Kingdom, and that is what I'm trying to defend. And my husband found out there was a cheat somewhere, and that is what I am trying to unravel. Now both of you get out of this place, this minute! I said get out! If not for one thing. <laughs> and you, what do you really want? You are yet to see the worst of what me. Do you really I will want? deal with you. I said get out! You like allow this girl to talk to me this way? Oh, I will you want to show you. yourself yet? So you allow her to talk to me this way? Oh, Don't worry. Disappointed your Don't worry. Sister. I am disappointed I shut this up blood with you. Oh my goodness. Once again, I welcome you back, my amiable sons. Thank you, Father. <laughs> and Soludo, how do you feel having your doctorate in mercy? Wow. <laughs> I feel fulfilled, Your Majesty. Oh, no, 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 I forbid that. This is a family meeting, not some royal cabinet meeting. 
<laughs> Pardon me, Father. I feel awesome. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> um, Chimaroke, how do you feel returning to your fatherland after so many years? No word can match my joy, no, Mother. Your Majesty. The royal banquet is set now. Aha! I've been waiting for this. <laughs> it's been long, you know. <laughs> um, get the chiefs settled. Hmm? Let them start eating. We'll join them later. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> yes, uh, I must confess right now that I'm the happiest father in this planet. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Having my son return after so many years of academic sojourn. You should have. You deserve it. You worked for it. <laughs> I think uh, we should join the chiefs. No, um, not now. We need to. <laughs> ah, as usual. <laughs> the account be opened and the business is processed. Ah, Bobby! I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, son. What? Here are two cars as my first gift for you. It's great. So, this is after that. Yes, each is always a habit. No, no, Dad. Don't worry. We are brothers, ain't we? Let him pick anyone he wants. I'm fine with it. Thanks, bro. Well, um, I am not trying to come in between you two. It is hard tradition. You see, Africa culture respect each difference among people, whether at the time of birth is just a second. Eh? Okay. There's always credence to senior and junior. We learn yeah. every day. Yes. <laughs> yes, um, there is one more thing. There is awesome gift for you too. What could that be, Father? <sighs> Your bride to be will be here soonest. Wow. Yes. Father. Beautiful dancing. Oh Father, that sounds like a lovely idea. Yes, so like I said before, this is Africa. <laughs> Allow your elder brother to speak first. Well, um, I leave the two of you to agree on something. <laughs> right to be. Okay, Your Majesty, that's the palm tree that needs to be cut off. This one there. Because there's a new one coming up. May I know why? There is a new one coming up, Your Majesty. This one. No, you don't there. cut it. That Majesty, reminds me of where I come from. Your Majesty, I'm an we have a guest. And they are who? Sorochian and Chidu, Your Majesty. Oh, really? Bring them in. Bring them up to the garden. Be quick. So, like I said, nobody will cut anything. Palm tree. Okay, how about that, Your Majesty? How about that one? Which one? The, the dogon yarrow? Don't you know what dogon yarrow is for? It's a herb. How about this? You have to.
So how are your parents? They are fine. Oh. And how are you? Very well. Perfect as ever. <laughs> so beautiful. And you too, looking <laughs> elegant. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Please sit. All right. Come. So tell me. How is High Chief Dodo of Oji Kingdom? He's fine. <laughs> He's very well, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Sit. I like your hair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you made it where? <laughs> where did you get it? I got it from London. Oh, really? And uh, you? Some place, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do we offer you? Um. Water we do, Your Majesty. Water? Yes. We don't just drink water here. You can give me champagne. Oh, really? Yes. Red, white? White, precisely. Okay, you get her champagne, white. And please, get her juice. <laughs> Raw fruit juice. Okay? Right away, Your Majesty. So... I would love to hear about your last trip to UK. Tell me. It was fun. It was amazing. Yeah. Chimaruki. Yes, brother. We are adults capable of taking our decisions. I know, brother. But you see, we just have to trust our father's decision. I mean, he's always given us the best in everything. Okay, for your sake, I will. That's my big bro. Um. <laughs> Wait, when are you both going to let us in into your little whisper? Mm. Our little secret. <laughs> Sister's privilege. Uh -huh. Very odious. <laughs> but I must confess, you both look exquisite. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Ma, it is time to return to your kingdom. The boss specified the time for return. Um, thank you, Ojuku. We'll be with you in Ejifi. Leave us this minute. Now. <laughs> so, let's show you around the other angle. Right. Yeah, time to get to know ourselves. Of course. <laughs> How dare you run into a car like that? My friend, get your fuse out of the way before I fuck her to your mother. Get out! Why are you scolding her like that? You and the driver are to blame too. You should have been more careful. Your Highness. Shut up. You are aware we always give us something whenever we're taking this route. Why didn't you remind us earlier? Your Highness, we're actually in a hurry. Then you should apologize to her. Madam, please come. 
Um, he's going to get you something to eat now. Okay? Get money from the driver and give us something. Yes, ma'am. Take. This won't work. Sis, shut up. I'm beginning to hate you. Surochi, are you alright? How dare you use hate words on your beloved sister? Beloved sister? Really? Not after what happened today in the palace. Chido, what is she saying? Absolutely no idea, Father. I am lost here. Please quit the pretense. You usurp her. Speak once. Speak. I don't know, Father. If I'm not having a firstborn prince, heir to the throne of Umogba kingdom, then nobody gets him. For God's sakes, I am your older sister. I'm supposed to have the older prince. Since you were there, Prince Soludo chose me. And you accepted? Really? Knowing fully whether he is the older prince and I am your older sister. Nobody gets him, nobody is marrying him if I don't have him, and that is final. I see. Father, does this really matter? Calm down, both of you. I shall speak with His Majesty. But if the princes insist on their choice, then he stands. Really? Father, I can't believe you spewing this out of your mouth. Excuse me. See? Had an agreement. Why didn't you keep to it? I was going to do it before the queen. Came. You were going to do it when you came for me. I saw how you were all over him, forgetting that he is my man. Calm down, Saroj. You are rushing me. Shut your freaking mouth. Rush who? What is in you that I want to rush? You're wasting time. Listen, if you mess my chances of becoming queen in this kingdom. You will see the beast in me that you have never seen before. I am your older sister. It is my right to become queen in this kingdom and it's my right to get married to the first born prince. Nonsense. Don't! Don't touch him. Remember the tradition.
Now that we are back home, sons, it is only proper that I acquaint you with uh, the custom and tradition of Umwagba Kingdom. And um, to reveal to you some secrets as you are my biological children. Yes, um, first and foremost, when the king has gone to join his ancestors, it demands that only his firstborn, the prince, that is permitted to touch his cause. The beads and the crown must be removed by the firstborn prince before the heir that sees the curse. The king must marry a second wife if he, the first wife fails to give him a firstborn son. And if the second wife fails too, he goes on to marry a third one until a wife gives him a son as a firstborn. But father, why is it so? This is the tradition bequeathed us by our ancestors, and we don't question their wisdom. Yes, another one. On no account must the crown prince eat in the public. Let me repeat this one. On no account, not in any circumstance, must the crown prince eat in the public. Yes, he will drop and die on the spot. Once again, welcome back. Soludo. Mother. You can now remove the beads. Hide it where no one will see it until the night of your coronation as a new king of Moba Kingdom. Drop the offer. No! Don't touch it. But Mother Father said It is not part of the royalty. Mother, Father instructed that I remove everything. You wouldn't have said so. The necklace has nothing to do with royalty. It is a secret. Best kept between your father and I. Here. Here. Here is mine. So he would be buried with this necklace so special to you? Yes. We vow to die with a secret behind the necklace. You can never see this necklace anywhere in this world. Apart from your father or me. Okay. In that case, mother, I will go with these ones. Hey, 
It is a serious blow to Moba Kingdom. A very hard blow. But we cannot question the Creator. My Prince, be strong. May Chukwu Kikabiyama be your strength at this moment of grief. Okay? What of your brother, Prince Chimaloka? Um. Our fiancés couldn't go back by themselves yesterday after the king passed. So he volunteered to escort them home and also used the opportunity to inform High Chief Dodo of Uchi Kingdom about the king's demise. It's alright. It's strong. Um, my friends. The body of our king must be laid to rest tonight, according to our tradition. Then, the burial ceremony will now take place on the very day of your coronation as the next king. That is our tradition. <laughs> Here she comes again. Does she always run onto the road like that? Yeah, we're used to obstructions. Hello, how are you? <laughs> uh, go see my sister. Go to the other car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Ma'am, take this money. Use it to buy something for yourself. We're not in a very good mood right now. No. Don't touch it. Mother, father, it is not part of the royalty. Mother, father instructed that I remove everything. He wouldn't have said so. The necklace has nothing to do with royalty. 
It is a secret. Best kept between your father and I. Here. Here. Here is mine. So he would be buried with this necklace so special to you? Yes. We vow to die with a secret behind the necklace. You can never see this necklace anywhere in this world. Apart from your father or me. Is anything the matter? No, 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 no nothing. Uh, we always give our food whenever we're taking through these routes. We give our food, money, everything just to make her happy. Do, do you happen to know her? No, we just know her as a mad woman on this road. Mother, hmm. ever since you made mention of the necklace, mm -hmm. a lot of questions have been, you know, popping up on my mind. I would like to know more about it. Oh, son, I've told you all you need to know about the necklace. How come father never made mention of it when he was trying to tell us about the secrets in this palace? That was because he doesn't want you to know. You're not meant to know anything about the necklace. Um, am I supposed to do the same thing to my wife-to-be? No! See, not at all. Your father and I decided to do this. Well, it's because of the blood oath we took and we vow never to leak the secret to anyone. You see this necklace? You can never find it on anyone else except your father and I. Well, you mean there are only two of this particular necklace? Son? Yes? Is anything the matter? No, Mom. I mean, I'm just trying to know more about, you know, palace, the village traditions. Yeah, nothing more. Thank you very much, Mom. You're welcome, son. Mm -hmm. Brother, there is something bothering me about the story you want to talk about the necklaces. How does that bother you? You know, but Mother said something that such necklaces are only two in existence. Yes, and did you find any copy of it anywhere else? Yes, on a mad woman's neck. <laughs> and is that what's bothering you? I mean, I know what I saw. Mother made mention that such necklaces can't be found on anyone or anywhere else. Listen, Chimaroke, that's what's called creative coincidence. Someone in the East could be creating something and the exact replica of that would be created in the West by someone else and they wouldn't know themselves. I mean, these things happen. Moreover, what won't you find on a madman's neck? Brother, I know exactly what I saw. It's the exact replica that matches the description Mother gave up about that necklace. And I am explaining creative coincidence to you. Brother, I don't know why this doesn't bother you, really. Does it not bother you? Does it not get you worried that there could be some secret over the story Mother and Father told us about the necklaces? Okay, you are beginning to cross the line, you know. 
I mean, I know you and I have never really disagreed on anything. But in this case, please, take a step back. Mother and father have vowed to keep their secret till they die. It is left for them. It is between them. Why would we want to delve into it? Please. The orphan is finally here. This is the staff of royalty. It is an evidence that the gods have approved your kingship and your coronation must happen in seven weeks. Congratulations. Congratulations, brother. Sorry, your majesty. You will inform the cabinet chiefs immediately. I'm, I'm so happy for you, your majesty. Finally, my brother. <laughs> my brother will be crowned the next king of Umorwa kingdom in seven weeks time. And I'm sure the event will be the most talked about coronation event out of Africa. This whole preparation saddens me. They bring back father's memories. Soludo, put your mind off such memories. This was your father's biggest dream. To see his firstborn son crown king of Tokyo. You should be happy. Congratulations to you once again, your majesty. Tell Surugede to inform the chiefs. Uh, I will do that for his majesty. No, son. It is his sole responsibility, his sole authority to summon the chiefs. I will. Good. Mary? Adora, you happen to be the only daughter in this family. And as I always said, fathers with their sons and mothers with their daughters. I bet ours is different because our both parents are bonded to their children. Perfect. I happen to meet this stranger who threatens the secret that holds this family together. 
Yes. I was lucky to come across that very stranger. And you know what? That stranger right now, as we speak, is at my mercy. This is serious. And what could the secret be? Mother wears this strange necklace. She claims it is a secret between her and our late father. And uh, she also says that particular necklace cannot be found elsewhere on the surface of this earth. Guess what? I found a third necklace. In the palace? No, in a strange place. So I, I just need you to do something for me, okay? I need you to find out more from mother. You know, let's find out what danger this particular third necklace poses for this family so that, you know, I can stop it before it's too late. Okay. I'll do just that right away. Great. But one more thing. Mother has refused to say more about that. Okay, so <laughs> you have to use your discretion. Okay, just be smart about it. You can at least trust me. Great. Son, I want us to talk. Just the two of us. Mom, this one you came into my room and you want us to talk. I hope all is well. I heard your brother talking about the necklace today. Oh, that. It's, it's nothing to worry about. We were just making sure we were doing the right thing according to what father told us before he died. That's all right. Um, please. You need to be very careful. Especially at a time like this. It is said that our enemies seize times like these, especially when a new king is about to enthrone. Be cautious and vigilant as the head that will wear the crown. You need to guide your heart against all forms of distractions. Please. Okay, Mom, I promise. Thanks for the assurance. Stay well. You too. Are you so much interested in a woman who has been mad for over 20 something years and not in any way related to me? Doctor, I need you to do everything possible to cure her. I have so many questions to ask her. This is two ways you brought her here, yet no improvement is recorded. Do you think madness of over 20 something years is something that requires psychiatric help? Doctor, you see, I asked a lot of questions and I did some research about your psychiatric hospital and yourself. So I believe, I'm fully confident that this is something you can do. You may be right by my colleagues, but I must say, sir, the degree of madness here appears to me like more domestic than medical. 
Well, I am also guessing that you can always put in your best to try and cure her. Well, let me borrow your faith. I'm, like you said, putting my best. Here's a check of 500,000 now. Isn't this rather too much? Doctor, nothing is too much for the best, because that's exactly what I require. Okay? Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Congratulations, Your Highness. Thank you, Chief. I began to wonder why the fan was taking such a long time to surface. History has it that it usually appears a day after the burial of a king. Yes. But thank the gods, it's here already. <laughs> Congratulations, Your Highness. Thank you, Anu. We should gear up preparations. We have less than seven weeks to crown our king. Oh, yes. Preparations are already at top gear. In fact, my brother has volunteered to be the chairman of the planning committee. As such, I would love you all to liaise with him to ensure we have a very successful coronation. In addition to that, my elders, I wouldn't mind any of you giving us suggestions of any way we can add more color to the festival, it shall be well accepted and adopted. I wish I could make it to the burial with you. Honestly, mother, it would have been lovely. I know Chief would be expecting to see you there. I don't know how to explain this to Mr. Pat. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Highness. Wow. Greetings, beautiful angels. How are you? I'm fine. Who do we have here? <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. How are you? I'm fine, my darling. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you too. <laughs> so, Rochi, how are you? I'm fine, Your Majesty, and you? I am great. Um, Chimaro didn't return with you. Actually, I have been calling his phone, but he's not been responding to my calls. I wanted to let him know I was coming. Um, Chimaro didn't tell you where he was going when he left the palace. Of course, mother. He told me where he was going, and he specifically said he was going to the kingdom of Oji to see Sorochi. No, definitely not me. I have been calling him for the past six hours. He's not been responding. What? I, are you sure? Because he's been leaving this palace for the past four days. Every day. All in the name of coming to Oji Kingdom to see you. Me? I have not set my eyes on him for a week now. Uh -uh. Perhaps Inchedu should have the answer to that question.
Greetings, Your Majesty. Chima, I'm yet to be crowned king. You're already my king. I mean, ceremonies are just to nice another king. You're welcome. Your fiancé was here earlier. We've not been picking your calls. Yes, she was worried about you. She said she has not set eyes on you in the past one week. Even though you always leave the palace saying you wanted to go see her all this while. Why are you staring at me like that? There is something special about that necklace. Chimaro came here. Make sure you see Sora Chim again. Chima. Truth is, she's worried. Please, whatever it is you have going on, whatever issues you have, try and sort it out with her. She didn't sound okay when she came. I'll be inside. Long live your majesty. I hope all is well. And, and the Quran. I, I was even preparing to come to the palace. Oh no. Your Majesty. You are the only one who knew about the secret. For that singular reason, I made sure you became the owner of this kingdom. I made sure you were raised from grass to grass. And I made sure your knowledge got a robust conversation. Why then are you selling me out, my son? God forbid, Your Majesty. God forbid I should do a thing like that. I have come to remind you of the consequences if you continue with this sabotage. Your Majesty, let the earth swallow me up if I have ever discussed anything with Prince Chimaroke. <laughs> oh, good. You already know who I'm talking about. Oh no. Your Majesty. Do not forget that the knowledge that made you can break you. Ako zuji uite, kuja waziwe. Be warned. Your Majesty, I still don't understand what you are saying. Thank you. 
You're welcome. So, uh, let me inform my sister that you're here. Inchedo! 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 I'm away, Sarah. Listen, this is the time to strike. This is the time to switch. We are switching men, forgotten? What are you saying? I already told him you're in the room. Told him that what? What? Tell him I'm not around. Tell him you came to look for me and you met my absence. How do you want me to say that? I have a concern. I am not this out. Listen. See, no man can resist this. When you get it, shake it for you. Don't fall for you. Look, I don't want him again. I've dashed him to you. Take him. I don't want Ah, Sorochi, come on. Even if you want to do something, not like this now. Uh, this what are you blocking? Leave this thing. What is wrong with you? Which one is desperation? So how will you get him anyways? Go and seduce him more. I have already told him you. Stop just telling him you did not see me when you came to go for me. I want to hear good results when you come back. Don't come back with negative news, though. I forgot that she went out. But her phone is in there. Oh. Okay. I see. It's alright. I will... I'll wait. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> I forgot, Sam. Um, what do I offer you? No, not to worry. I'm fine. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. Okay. I do not intend to serve an order to my governor. But I think you have to stay clear from your know. The queen is not comfortable with your relationship to him. I don't get your point, surrogate. I overheard the queen warning the owner to stay clear from you. Perhaps she perceived that you know will mean some harm. Please, Your Highness, I would advise you to stay clear for your own safety. Thank you for this. I really do appreciate your concern. And I'll do just like you said. A reward awaits you for your loyalty. Thank you, my friends. But please, do keep your ears to the ground and inform me of any findings. It's like I said, a robust reward awaits your loyalty to me. Your wish, 
my commands, Your Highness. Chiefs and Council, this meeting must continue with or without Ono. He said we should give him 20 minutes, and now he has kept us for two hours. He should know the essence of punctuality at a limited time like this. So please, continue with the meeting. It is my opinion that we list out all that we shall be doing on that day in the order of importance. And if I may ask, what, um, what do you think you might So look at it. What is it? It's yet another bad news. What bad news? Speak through the day. The owner who just passed on. <laughs> he was shot by some assailants. Right in his residence. Hey. Hey. What is the implication of you know who's demise on my coronation? Your coronation will go on as planned. So rest your heart. I ask because I worry, Mom. Same implications your spiritual will have on the volume of water in the ocean, which is absolutely nothing. Like I said, rest your heart. I hope everything is okay. It's about to know who's murder. Oh. Yeah, mother told me about it. In fact, we had a talk. But she assured me that it will not stop the coronation. Uh, I smell suspicion over his death. Of course. I mean, his death was an assassination, so definitely there must be suspects. 
brought out. We need to find out those behind his death. Yes. But that's for the police to do. We have done our parts, okay? The police has um, indicated they'll take up from here, and I'm sure they'll do a good job at that. But I smell something fishy in this palace. Believe me, brother. I don't know what you smell, but I'd advise that we just let this slide. Personally, I have um, taken it off my mind. I'll allow the judicial process and the police to do their job, okay? We cannot fight for the gods and the system. We'll talk about this another day. Shit. This one will not hold. I will not have it. Enough, both of you. What has come over you? Sorochi demands that we call off our engagement to Prince Soluda and Chimaroke. How dare you, Sorochi? Father, even if she raises her voice from now to tomorrow, it will not change anything. Prince Soludo is mine. It will only be fair if we let age decide who marries who in this case. Hmm. The palace is already on fire. And our focus should be on restoring peace between both brothers you want to marry. Father, I will only listen to you or do exactly what you're saying by the time my marital mandate is restored. And that is final. Really? Father, did you hear that? So much you will not happen. My son, thank you. Thank you very much. The doctor told me how you determined you were to make sure that I'm fine. Even when you don't know me. I cannot thank you enough. God bless you. All thanks to God. But, but, yeah? Why are you interested over my case? Because I am not the only, only mad woman that is on the street. Tell me, please. Why are you interested in my own case? Huh? That necklace. What about it? I want to know everything there is to know about it. No! No, no, no! 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 I don't want to talk about it. No! No, no, no. This necklace. Is a dangerous secret that cannot be revealed to anyone. It's a symbol of a powerful oath that cannot be broken. Please. That is the only reward that I want for all my efforts. Do 
Mark, I need you to keep your eyes on that. This is the moment that I'm waiting. Okay, I'll wait. But if I may ask, is there something you want to do with her? You see that woman? She holds a very vital secret. A secret that I hold really dear. Not just to me alone, even my family members. Am I not discharging her anytime soon? Not until I find out everything that I need to know. Okay. I will oblige your request, sir. Doc. Do all you can and show that she is well looked after. One more thing. Make sure you keep her away from all strangers. That would be a problem. I will do that. Onyero. Orie. Orie. Thank you. Please. Do a very good job. I trust you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, Chi, you mean that Chimaroke did not come to Oji Kingdom? Yes, Your Majesty. You don't know where he usually goes to? He told me he was planning a surprise package for Prince Solodo on the day of his coronation. That's not all. If he could confide in you about the surprise package, we should as well be doing all the plannings with you. Since that's not going that way, there must be more that meets the eye. Do you know? Your Majesty, are you insinuating he's seeing another woman? Well, that's your job to find out. I want you henceforth to relay all your findings to me. This should be a secret within us. Unless you don't want my son as a husband. As your majesty pleases. Your wifely assignment starts now. My life is in danger. Please. What do you mean your life is in danger? Doctor, what that young man that helped me is asking of is a huge risk to my life. Please take me out of here right now. Please. What is he asking for? Doctor, please. If you really want me alive, take me out of here now. Please. I ask again. What is he asking for? You are alive? That means we need to make police report immediately. Come, 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 come. I thought as much. I knew running away would be the next thing on her mind. I'm so disappointed in you, Doc. You of all people knew how much I have spent and all the sufferings I had to go through only for you to restore her mental health. And yet, you went behind my back, you connived with her to run away. Only because I asked you a very simple question. Good deeds, they say, never go unpunished. I won't forget to drop these dresses that I bought for you. You can have them. My prince. My prince, please, 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 don't go. Please.
Suruchi. You're here. My love, I had to wait for you to return because I was so worried about you. You know, I told you that I'm heading my brother's coronation ceremony for some time now. And I haven't been this busy before. And you think I cannot be of help to you now that you have so much to do? Not to worry, my love. I just don't want to stress you. Sweetheart, stress is when you continue to keep me in the dark. I want to be a responsible bride to be. I want to be able to help my man do whatever he thinks that he is doing. I want my man to know that he is in love with a very hard-working lady. I want to be able to support you. Please, give me the chance to gladly support and guide you. Give me a chance to support you in whatever it thinks that is keeping you busy. If you want me to keep my mouth shut to the end of the world, I will. You will keep your mouth shut, you assure me? Yes. Then you have to sleep over tonight. I have so much to tell you, but not now. My mood is all messed up. Sweetheart, I can help you be in a very good mood. Come here. tell you anything? Not yet, but he promised to tell me everything tonight. And you didn't ask him why he came back home so mad? Your Majesty, everything will be spilled to me tonight. Good. In that case, I want to hear everything direct from the horse's mouth. When you both are set to have the conversation, I want you to call me. Hide your phone close to where you're having the conversation. That way, I would know if he is saying the truth. As your majesty pleases, Good. Best of luck. Thank you. Your Majesty, I'm thinking we should change the face of the throne into a much modern one. You know, you're a digital king and I think it will be proper if this starts with your reign as a new king. I don't really follow, brother. How do you mean? I'm saying we should get rid of the old throne and also, you know, have a look around changing the face of the royal garden as well and reconstruct it into something, you know, modern with a state-of-the-art facilities. That's actually a good idea. I buy into it, but the problem is, don't you think it's rather too late considering the time we have to prepare for the coronation? <laughs> Your Majesty, I will be in charge of the coronation. I will hire the best of hands to ensure this is done in less than two weeks. No. 
I've always known you're the best brother I can have. And I trust you'll give me the best. After all, you've always done so. So go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> It's about the necklace my mother, the queen, has on. She also says my late father, the king, had it on his neck. The queen told me that there are no such necklaces apart from the two that existed. She said it represented the oath of secrecy that both of them swore. What about the necklace? You want to know what I know about the necklace? If it pleases my sweetheart to share with me. Ah, at the moment I'm still digging deep to know the mystery behind that necklace. Do you think it's important to talk about this by this time? That's why I really do not want to bother anyone about it. And that's why I'm digging deep all by myself. Is that all? Yes. My goodness, I thought it was something serious. The Queen is very worried about you. The Queen must not hear about anything that I've said to you. Not at all. How dare this age or disconnect me? Not at this point! I want to hear more. What does he mean by digging deep? Hush. I want to know what this idiot knows about the necklace. You have my word. Thank you. That is too much I can tell you. For now, to save my own life. So you mean to tell me that your best friend did all these to you in order to keep the secret to herself forever? Yes. I am lucky to be alive. The, the, the baby you had. Was it a boy or a girl? I had a baby boy. This best friend of yours, can you remember her name? I mean the woman you're talking about. Yes. Her name is uh, Sikora. And her estranged son's name is Sorodo. My son, why are you interested to know all this? And why do you want to know about this necklace? I, I cannot tell you that for now. I, I have to be on my way.
Tell me to you, useless person. What says? And you, what are you doing there? Eh? Don't go get out of my sight. Are you not hearing what I'm saying? Get out of my sight, there is a sea. Are you going to see? Let me not see any of you here. Are you, are you, are you hearing? Are you going? Nonsense. Let me see who will try me in this house. What could have come over Prince Chimaroki? I've never seen him in such cannibalistic manner. This is so shocking. Whatever is responsible for getting him this angry must be very critical. My friends, their coronation will be so spectacular. <laughs> it will ring bell across the whole kingdom around us. Uh, but I hope our kingdom will accommodate the crowd. I mean, the thousands of people that will come. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, which is why we must prepare very well for this coronation to make it an experience to behold when those thousands come. There is no need to worry. My brother is already on top of it. <laughs> I cannot wait to be crowned the king of Omo uh, Bakin. <laughs> Because I know that it's going to be a great occasion. Oh, there he goes. You lie. You lie, son. You lie. I will never watch you take over what belongs to me. The floor is my bedroom. Chimaruki. You know where you are, right? What expired wine have you been taking? What has come over you? Don't give me that expired drink. The throne is mine. You. What nonsense? You. What nonsense are you vomiting? Have you lost it? You evil woman. The sins that you have committed has finally caught up with you. What? You better open up this evil mouth of yours and tell your son what secret lies with that necklace you have on your neck. Shimaroki, how dare you talk to our mother like that? Our mother? Oh no. This evil woman here can never be my mother. She is your mother. How dare you? Woman, would you speak? Answer your son unless I lose it. How dare you! This evil woman has committed a lot of atrocities. You remember she told us about the necklace, the one she's got on. She says it's a love bond that she shared with our late father, the king. But there is more. The throne belongs to me. You lied, Prince Chimaroke. If you could not have so many people with you, man has yet to fear that they could hear you. To fear, Prince Chimaroke. If you are not kita, have you forgotten the customs and traditions of our great kingdom, Umaba? Only the firstborn son can ascend the throne as the next king. So how come, what gave you the impetus to declare before us here that you, the throne belongs to you? Eh? What has come over you, my prince? It's like someone hasn't been listening to me. I've been speaking, haven't I? I'm trying to tell both you and everybody who is seated here that I am the royal first son, the heir apparent. Of Umoba Kingdom. Will you shut up and bridle your tongue before you incur the wrath of the gods and find yourself on their battleground? Soludo, I will never watch you ascend this throne and take what belongs to me. I will fight you with everything, everything, if it comes to that. What? Simaroke! You're an animal. Mother. If you think you can come here 
and destroy an age-long tradition? You lied. Rethink. Mother, what's the meaning of what Chimaroke just said? He's so sure you know something about this madness. It is what you called it, son. Madness. I don't know what has come over your brother. But whatever it is, we have to put him in check. We can sit and watch him jeopardize your coronation. Never. Earlier before now, that the enemies of this kingdom will arise at a time like this, didn't I? This is the first hurdle you must conquer to show that you are manly enough to the king. But uh, this is. This is Chimaroki we are talking about, my own brother. The enemies cannot use him, at least not with this ceremony that is so important. So you don't wake up! Kings don't do at a time like this. What am I supposed to do to my brother? This is Africa. The journey of a king is a tale of war and spirits. Push out your chest and fight for your right. Even if your enemy comes in form of your blood brother. Mother. How am I supposed to fight my brother over the throne? No. I'd rather let it slide and make an enemy of my brother because of this. Are you stupid? Do you want to sit and watch your kid brother take your bet right? Your rightful position. Listen, we will fight. We will fight to the end of this earth. Nothing, nothing will ever make that boy become king. Is that clear? You need to man up and protect the throne. Your father left in your care otherwise. You will have your father's goals to battle with for the rest of your life. Deal with it. Baby, what is going on? It's all over the kingdom that you've declared yourself next in line to the throne. It's my birthright. And I'm going to get what is mine. I'm lost. What's going on? How can you all of a sudden declare yourself next in line to the throne? This has never been your thing. Listen, sweetheart. If I'm ever going to have any conflict with anybody, it's certainly not you. Okay? 
I am 100% certain of my claim to the throne. And I am determined to do anything to get it. Baby. I'm very worried about you. Because this whole thing might end up in a tug of war. Of course. And <laughs> you better get ready. War? With your brother? Oh, come on. Scrap that brotherhood of a thing. Look. You need to start getting ready to be the next queen of Omoa Kingdom. I love you. <laughs> Can't love you less. Our people say, an elder does not stay at home and watch a goat deliver in churches. Chibaroke, your allegation yesterday was very disturbing. Never in the history of our kingdom have we seen two brothers contest for a throne. We know our tradition. Our tradition states clearly that the firstborn prince is always the heir of the throne. Exactly. Shimaruke, Aruinyo Kanish. That is why we have summoned you here to sound it as a note of last warning. You must denounce what you claim and desist from further repeating that sacrilegious statement you made that the throne belongs to you. Else, you'll be fighting the people and the tradition, which is a fertile fight for any single individual. Not when I'm 100% sure of my right. Yes, nobody, I repeat, nobody can scare me away from my inheritance. Nobody. And your stand is based on what tried. How did you come out with such claim? Thank you, High Chief, for that question. I will answer your question the same way I answered it the other day. Let us ask this woman what this necklace that she has on, what it symbolizes. Well, let's shut your mouth. And why the king had to be buried with it. Chimaroke, shut your mouth and answer the question you were asked. Chimaroke, speak to us. We need your answer. My elders, and for those who care to know, the necklace she has on her, on her neck, symbolizes conspiracy against the truth. That I am the true heir to the throne of Umoba Kingdom. The queen cannot pretend not to know the truth. I will give her some grace. I'll give her some time to avail everyone here of our confession. Otherwise, and I mean it with every sense of sincerity, I will leak your most kept secret. All I have to say is that our enemies are at work. And we must rise to fight and protect the sovereignty of Umoaba Kingdom. Excuse me. Let her go. Yes. Let her go. Very soon we shall find out who murdered your no will. Cold blood. Only because they found out that their secret is about to be. Listen, I will not sit here and watch you but not my mother. You're not sick. My elders, I think this guy needs a mental evaluation. Has something gone wrong with your brains? How can you hinge your accusation on a baseless assumption? It is you and your mother that needs a mental evaluation. Timaroke, Maloke, Saludos, Olum. 
Malok e giti malok. Solo 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 malok e and I am saying that he has not shared anything with me. Really? She meant to tell me that you spent the whole week with your hobby to be, and yet you know nothing. Why are you now hiding things from me? Sit. Are you not going to sit? Shimaroke keeps mentioning necklace. Necklace this, necklace that. Whatever he knows about this necklace, he has kept it to himself all along. Then you should call him to order. You do the calling. Oh, come off it, sis. If whatever Shimaroke knows about the necklace is personal, then he should remain personal and not disturb the peaceful coronation of his innocent brother. Oh, you already concluded that his brother is innocent? Anyway, that's by the wayside. The last time I checked, we had a deal to settle. What about it? Wait a minute. Don't tell me you're behind us. You are yet to answer my question. What about our deal? What is this I'm hearing? You're welcome. That my brothers are fighting themselves over the throne? Chimaroke, your brother, has surrendered himself as a tool of destruction to the enemies of this kingdom. He has vowed to bring shame upon this royal hall. My own brother? Adora, you need to see a monster he has turned into. For your own good, please avoid him until the tradition finishes with him. So where is he now? Perhaps in a meeting with the sponsors of this royal war. What about Soludo? Throne room attending to the chiefs. Where? How is your husband? Well, he is certainly not happy about the whole thing. That's why he sent me to prevail over my brothers. My dear, please. I want you to find out who is feeding him with those lies. I want to know the source of his madness. In fact, this is the most shocking thing I've ever experienced. Eh? What can be driving this uh, Chibaroki this man? I don't understand. Yeah, don't say that. Hmm? You don't even go there. You say a toad does not run in daytime for what? From the look and eyes of that boy. You will understand that he has a very strong reason for laying such claims in that particular. You must be mad, Ayakodo. Eh? Are you out of your senses? Eh? Can you hear yourself speak? I am. You and I know that that Chimaru Oke is the younger of the two princes. Of course. And of course, by tradition, the throne should go to the elder brother. What Who is the eldest? I know. I am not even mad. What I'm still saying is. We should know exactly what is behind that necklace that made him lay such claim to that throne before passing judgment. Please, I, I think I agree with you, Why? A sane man will not just wake up and lay such a claim. 
I believe we should go back to Chibaroke, Prince Chibaroke, and mm -hmm. find out exactly In why fact, he left. I am, I am very disappointed that high chiefs like you can be talking like this. Hold eh? Listen, I'm disappointed. In fact, have you got out of your senses, just like Prince Chibaroke? Hold it. It's you that lost your senses. After all, you don't even think before you act. Shut up, Say, so shut up, the detriment of yours. How can you support someone who wants to discard our tradition? Are you mad? It is you that is shameless. <gasps> you don't have brain. What we are saying simply is that let us find out why Prince Chibaroke took that decision. Abula. And then simple. Oh, let me tell you. Sorry, sorry, but you are mad. Listen. You are mad. Let me tell you. That will make sure that you people are taken out of the country. You don't have such yeah, you don't have a You don't have You don't have a 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 Look at the shame. The humiliation of the true father preserved his life to be with us. Listen, we grew up in this family knowing who is older than us and who we are older than. How come after father died, you want to disrupt the peace we have in this royal home? Why? You shut up your mouth, Dora. And let it remain shut. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. It is you. It is you who should shut up for falling to the enchantments of the enemies of this kingdom. Watch your mouth, young man. Add some quality respect when you're addressing the heir apparent. Heir apparent? Come on, did I hear you well? Don't tell me the rumor flying around town is true. Don't tell me that. How dare you stand before the crown prince of Umoba kingdom and address yourself as the heir apparent? How? No. Let him blab on. It's evident he needs to change whatever drink he's been on lately. <laughs> I would pardon your ignorance, Adora, for the first and last time. Yes. Go and ask your mother about the secret behind that necklace. The necklace she claims only her and the late king knows about. The same necklace that she claims cannot be found elsewhere. Until you do, my attention is not within reach. Chimaruke. <laughs> Use your head or you will lose it. Soludo. Solum. Chimaroke. Maroke. Soludo asimge. Walife ni ni ma. Wee solum. Asimge maroke. Chimaroke. Soludo mangwazi kwa gozo. Solum. Chimaroke. Emalife dige ma. Maroke. Solo, solo! He made reference to the necklace. What has that got to do with the royal contest? Mom! I remember you said that necklace shares a secret capable of causing chaos in the royal family. That's exactly what I told my two sons. How could Chimaruke stand on that to assume that he is the firstborn prince of this kingdom? Is that all? Just assumptions, nothing else. But mom, don't you think sharing the secrets behind the necklace can help stop the crisis in the family? After all, we are family and we should be able to keep secrets. Adora, like I said earlier, it is a secret the father and I vowed to die with. Yes.
Your Highness, some cabinet chiefs are here to see you. Cabinet chiefs? Yes. What are they looking for? I do not know, Your Highness. Okay. I will meet up with them. All right. As you please. Chiefs, as you can see, we have colonels. My prince, Oka Gunya and what a naka and a rare, eh? Or Jesse, Nesa Naka. It's you. Hi, Chiefs, to what do I owe this surprise visit? <clears throat> My prince, our people say a toad does not run in the afternoon for nothing. It is either it is chasing something or something is after it. We are certain you will not just wake up and usurp the throne from your elder brother. Hmm? We know there's a reason for that. That is why we have come to find out why. That's true, my prince. We've been part and parcel of this family for a very long time and we know the peace and tranquility between you and your brother. What brought about this sudden change is so confusing. And that is why we are here to know from you before we take any decision. Hi, Chiefs. If I tell you, would you believe me? My Prince, you are wise. No one will just wake up and lay claim to the throne of this kingdom without a cogent reason. I am certain you have a reason to have done what you did. My prince, we had a serious argument with other elders. As it stands, we are the radicals because we bent on knowing exactly what is happening and to hear why you lay hold on such claims. Hi, chiefs. May your wisdom never retire. Yes, yes. Well, instead of me telling you why, I'm doing what I'm doing. I would rather show you. I've heard your majesty. And I must say, I don't need any compensation because I'm not happy. In his attempt to truncate the tradition of this kingdom, the elders are divided into two camps. But I know the person in his camp I will use as a spy. Ichi Amade, that's perfect. I don't care how you choose to go about the information. All I am interested in is to know what Chimaroke knows. That's all. <laughs> um, okay, Your Majesty. I will get back to you. Good luck.
thought we had an agreement. Where could she be? Is anything the matter? Are you looking for someone? I wanted to show you the proof. The proof to the claim that I've been making all this while. I just want to get and get a doctor. Kidnappers, kidnappers, kidnappers. Bring him up! Kidnappers, oh, kidnappers! Bring him out! Kidnappers, they kidnappers! You're going to They almost killed me. Try to hurt her. I will crumble this entire palace to nothing. Your stupidity seems to be growing wild, waste and cold. Don't. Don't sell it to me. Not me. Queen Zikora the fort of Umoba Kingdom. You see that what you do not know is bigger than Your Highness! Hi, Bupo Mugitia. Your Majesty. Thank you for the information. Huh? Thank you, Your Majesty. For every information you bring, a fact check awaits you. Wow. Your Majesty, trust me, my ears are on the ground. I see you becoming the next Onowu of Umoba Kingdom. You will live long, Your Majesty. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Officer, you and I know that it is against this country's law to lock up a suspect this long. This case on ground does not even require my client to even be behind bars because he was also a victim of the hoodlums. 
You are right, Barista. You know I am standing on the royal order. And the government of the day accords so much power to the royal family. Not in a case where the royal orders goes against the government laws. Well, I am standing also on the legal orders to request the release of my client. I will relay a request to the prince and persuade him to understand where you are coming from. I am hopeful. Are you calling him now? He will be here any moment from now. Well, in that case, I'll be waiting outside. It's all right, Barista. <laughs> Barista, my foot. I am after my bet right. And anybody who stands in my way will pay with their dear life. Your Highness, I am only working on legal grounds and within the rights of my client, Dr. Johnson. I am obsessed with my bet right. I am completely blinded to any forms of legality. I'm going to go to the court. I'm His Royal Majesty Aranawa. Aranawa! As a matter of fact, Aranawa! Your Highness, what do you want me to do now? I need you to find out everything you need to find out from your client about the missing woman. Okay? And of course, you'll be rewarded handsomely. Manarabwagi! Arabwagi! Where the film? Ndeara! Ke wota kara si awamadu! Hey, that's a good idea, my friends. You think if we follow through with that, we're on the right track? Yes. And I want to let you know that I'll send my guards later to your houses to, you know. <laughs> if I close and open my eyes, I want you others to leave here now! See you later, bro! See you later, bro! Mr. Goldigger, has it gotten to this? Invading the throne room with a gun? <laughs> Soludo, don't you dare test the war in me. Don't you dare! Unless I will feed you genocide for a feast. I don't even have your time. I don't. Let me finish with your useless mother and all her kidnappers. Then you will know what I'm up to. Shimaruki. So it has gotten to the extent of you invading the royal throne with a gun? <laughs> Just look at the kettle calling pots black. I don't even have your time, Soludo. Wait till I'm done dealing with your useless mother and her kidnappers. So what are you going to do there? What are you going to do there? So this palace is now military, Chimaruki. Okay. Let the royal war begin. 
Don't you dare test the war in me, Soludo. Don't! Unless I will feed you genocide for a feast. From henceforth, I declare this place a no meeting zone until your useless mother returns the people she kidnapped from me. Soludo, you think you can lock up the first gate and avoid me from, from leaving this place? No problem. I have access to the back gate. Let me see what you can do about this. What's going on here now? Ah! Surugere! 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 What, what, what nonsense is this? What's going on here? Why, why, why can't I op open the back gate? Your Highness, it was Prince Saludo that asked me to, to lock the gate and give him the keys. You mean Saludo did this? Yes, Your Highness. He, he was insisting that until you call back the elders, he's scared away with the gun. That nobody's driving out of the palace. Go and get anything you can, can lay your hands on. A hammer, anything. I need this place, this key to be broken right now. I need to leave here. Do as I have commanded. Your Highness, I, I, I will do your wish. But I would have suggested you, you, you meet Prince Soludo. Me? Meet that fool? Meet Soludo? <laughs> that must be the joke of the century. I will never bring myself to meeting that fool. I beg your highness, I have to return to my point of duty. He must be a fool! Why would he do such a thing? Okay? It's alright. I know what to do. I know what to do. It's okay. It's alright. I am so disappointed at both of you. The duty of a wife should be to step down her husband when he's high in anger. But in your case, you're the one fueling my brothers to fight themselves and kill themselves. Soroji started it by encouraging her man to destabilize the royal family. Princess Adora, warn this lizard to avoid climbing my wall, else I'll crush her to death. Wait a minute. Are these the things my brothers are getting married to? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Oh, she is the shameless one. I met my husband as the heir apparent to the throne of Umuba Kingdom, and that is what I'm trying to defend. And my husband found out there was a cheat somewhere, and that is what I am trying to unravel. Now, both of you, get out of this place this minute. I said, get out! If not for one thing. <laughs> and you. What do you really want? You are yet to see the worst what of me. What do you really I will want? deal with you. I said, get what out! You, you allow this girl to talk to me this way? Oh, I will deal you with you. Yourself, yeah. So you allow her to talk to me this well, way? I'm disappointed, your man. Don't worry. I am disappointed. I shall deserve blood with you. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I'm heartbroken. I can't imagine how my best friends would be pouring in his grave, seeing such shameless war between his two sons for the kingship of Fumoba Kingdom. Both of you are brothers with equal respects and benefits. But only one person must replace your father. King of a mobile kingdom. 
the tradition of our land already made it clear that the firstborn will be the king after his father. So, both of you, I believe that both of you should bury the hatchet. Chimaroke, you must conquer that taste for kingship. The taste from the pit of hell. High Chief, I have heard everything that you've said and advised. But on one condition, that the Queen must release the woman she kidnapped from the hospital. Unless that is done, there will be no peace for the wicked. Of course. The heart of the wicked can never know peace, and that's why your life is wallowing in pieces. I will be on my way now, High Chief. Okay. Saludo. Just humble you. We shall see. Which woman is he talking about? I am sure the woman who gives him the expired drink that has turned him into a chronic drunk lately. Hi Chief, I want to tell you that I appreciate your coming to intervene in this issue. But not to worry, I know how to handle him. Okay. Mother, I am getting more curious by the day. About what? The necklace. Don't be stupid, Adora. You should be interested in bringing your brother back to his senses than chasing rat while your house is on fire. Why will I be seeking little solutions? Why the real solution to the royal quagmire lies on your neck, mother. If Chimaroke is fermenting all these troubles simply because he wants to know the secret behind the necklace, then share it, mother. Let peace reign. Get out. I am going to call your husband to sound this as a warning. Now listen, I don't want you to ever in your life mention about this necklace. Out! Get out! You come in highly recommended. I need this job done and cleanly executed as much as possible. Moga, I know when you come to kiss my face. Don't tell me monkey begin get you for your ash. Pass me this business, make I deliver you. Good. Okay. Anyways, uh. In here you'll find the details you need, the photos, the addresses, and all that that you need about the people. And I need it done in three days' time. Did they move about with police escort? No. Did they go about with guns? No. Three days plenty now. Three days plenty. This is a small matter now, beans. Just said to me, make out the fly. Inside there, you'll also find 50% of the job. Once you're done, I'll give you the remaining after delivery. Buy our, buy our. I'm going to deliver you. Just make sure, say, you deal at the end of your own bag. And if not, you, you go collect. Well, whoever sent you should also tell you, and I'm sure by now they do know, that I'm a man of my words. You can go. Look me. 
I'm going to blow your head. Who for you? Who do? Yes. Where are you? Chef, you are so naive. You are so naive. You are so yourself now. No, no, not be me. No, not be you. Not be you. No, no. Who? You are so yourself. You are so yourself. You are so yourself. You are so yourself. Not be me. 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 Not be Your Highness, Your Highness, my prince, I've been going from house to house, but I can't find any of the elders. Now I arrived at Kubudo's house and I was told they were all kidnapped. Yes, Your Highness. I have checked everywhere. Someone just told me now that some unknown government came and kidnapped all the elders. Yes, Your Highness. Okay, Your Highness. Here. 50% complete. And some more. Confirm. You know, Sadiga. Uh, if you begin to armor. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I, I, I would like to meet with the others. I need to see them at least to assure them that I mean no harm. No client is allowed to know our location. Don't they ask for too much? Okay, uh, the, the more money I added is for you to ensure that they are properly taken care of, okay? Good welfare. Bye, Howard. Make I do this in back as you all. Right on time, Prince Chemaroki. I have been waiting for you. Inspector. Arrest him. He's a prime suspect. Shut up your filthy mouth, woman, and allow the officer to speak. Officer, how may I help you? You don't talk back at Her Majesty in that disrespectful manner. Not while I'm here. Inspector, please. Do me a favor by calling your men to bundle this miscreant out of this palace. One step at a time, Your Majesty. Press Chairman Roque, as a matter of urgency, you have to release the chiefs in your custody. As I will be forced to charge you for kidnap. <laughs> Officer, please tell this woman to release the one in her custody. I only reciprocated her action. What are you talking about? Her Majesty, what is he talking about? Inspector, I don't expect you to treat a kidnapper with kids' gloves. Get him arrested. That's the order. You know, there is this saying that what is good for the goose is also good for the gander. Officer, if you must arrest me, then she has to be arrested also. I beg your pardon? Is there more I should know about this matter? Prince Maroki? Can I have a moment with you outside?
Nice job, guys. Take this. That is his phone number. Call him and demand 100 million naira of ransom. 100 million too much now. Yeah, but so just no ask that we'll take care for you. I know we want me to sort his phone number. Country, I tell you, with you. The prince is a worthy prince. And that woman in question is a lot too. So he can pay any amount to get her out. You sure? 100%. Because I know why they ask. If this matter pass, now you go pay us. It will not pass. Oh, yeah. One more leg. The roof. You thought I would call her your friend, the mad. You won't die. No. You won't die. No, sir. You won't die. No, sir. See up now. Go put some for call now. If he like you, he go pay. If he don't like you, I go lie to you. I buy put call. Ah, I That is same client too. Which client? That client who on that on that matter for now. I don't forget. Uh, no one. Um, a hundred million we talk about. See tomorrow, but I'll go find you soon. Take a call on. This show must go on. Go on. Be done. Okay, baby. All right, enjoy your meal. All right. Yeah, hello. Who is this? What are you talking about? Mother! Please, do not harm my mother. Do not kill her. Do not even touch her. Tell me where you are and I'll come to you. Okay? Please. Oh, you think I don't know what you're up to? You're trying to run me bankrupt so that I will not have the necessary resources needed to reclaim my royal mandate. But guess what? I will do 
everything within my powers. I don't mind going to Bor alone to do that. Okay? Dogs bark when they are in need of bones to crush. But hey, bitch. This is not a palace of bones. Your Highness. You mustn't talk to every dog in the street. Not all dogs. If you must do, it shouldn't be this low budget a cool cake combo who luckily find himself in the walls of the royal dynasty. Shame on you too. Saludo, watch me as I rub your face in shame. Your Highness, shall we? Kills eyes, is it? Because I know what I'm wondering. I'm going to be in the zone. I'm going to be Yeah, it's a good news, Your Highness. Good news? I don't understand, officer. What are you talking about? The only challenge we are facing now is the money. If your highness can provide us the money, we will capture the kidnappers. Officer, I spoke to them on my way here and they made it very clear that I shouldn't involve the police unless they will kill my mother. Officer, please, I don't want them to kill my mother for me. Eh? She's the only evidence I have to ascending the throne. You don't have to worry yourself, your highness. There is a new system through which we capture the kidnappers through the ransom. All you have to do is to bring the money to us first before taking it to the kidnappers. Zikora, you are darkness, and my ground forbids you. What I came here with my son to strike a deal with you. First, you must assure me your cooperation before my son joins the conversation. No amount of darkness can defeat even a twinkle of light. Queen Zikora, whether you come here with your son or with a thousand of your evil cohorts, I, Odumeje, will ever stand for the light. Well, I am the light you are seeing. This is the deal. I want you, Udumeje, to return to Umova Kingdom and resume your position as the Ono. Secondly, 20% of the royal property goes to you. I can survive with the smallest beam of light than perish in a cloud of darkness. Yes, I shall come to Omoomba Kingdom when it is time for the right thing to be done with the smallest drop of respect I have for you. I ask that you leave my compound now. Are you still here? I said, leave my compound immediately. Leave before I do something stupid to you. 
And you're here staring at me like that. You evil woman, it shall never be well with you and your entire generation. I see money. Make where go boy. I tell you, I'm gonna pay the money to you, guy. Guy, I don't make up. See money now. I can't believe this. The same boy. You're not any of them. Yes. My destiny. It's my destiny. If it's you, Melo Mado, Yako Gabo. The road might be wrong. But I'll keep on trading this path with enemies surround. I'll keep fighting until I win. Chuku Kumunazu. I cannot lose what is mine. Chuku Melumese. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. Chuku Kumunazu. I cannot lose what is mine. Chuku Melumese. Yeah. Power is sweet, but also can kill. The thirst for power is tearing us down. Shadows of the past. Breaking us apart No matter what I face I can only say The road might be wrong yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll keep 
keep on trading these parts with enemies surround. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep fighting until I win. Chuku kumunazu. I cannot lose what is mine. Chuku melumeze. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. Chuku kumunazu. At last, I'm vindicated. Thank you, Jesus. Your Highness, how is she feel? To not better at all. She's not better. Huh? Can we take her to the hospital? No, 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 doctor, please. Not uh, again. Not again, doctor, please. In that case, let me go and get this first aid bus from the car. That's fine. Okay, I will be right back. I am the unstoppable king. You remain here to welcome your new king. Tell your mother that I have my evidence back. And very soon, the both of you will be welcoming the real king. I am the real king and I will be crowned today. That means everything and everyone in this kingdom will be at my beck and call, including you in Posto. Real kings are products of the gods and not some cheap wine and coordinates. So Ludo, go ahead and spend your money. Ijiego. Very soon, body go tell you. Your Majesty, shall we? Please.
Your Majesty, the security men at the post insist we must not drive in. Why? They said that was the order from the Novo Boromburu. I don't understand. Why would he give such an order? I tried finding out and he said Ono or the Major was here earlier. And he insisted that the coronation must not go on. What? Mother! That bastard. He messed this up again for me. Son, you must be crown king. Surugade, take me out of this place. You must be crown king. What sort of... May the gods be with you. Hi Chiefs, this right here happens to be the same necklace the Queen claims that it can be found elsewhere apart from her neck and the neck of our late King. So how do you explain this? My Prince, where did you find this necklace? This is the exact necklace our Queen and the late King wore. This is unbelievable. Where did you find it, my Prince? We'll have to take it one step at a time. By then, the community must have found out how wicked my so-called mother is. <laughs> you know, then it might be too late because I will be crowned the king of Momoba Kingdom. <laughs> That's it, my prince. Chief Soribe and Anyakodo are scoundrels. And should not be allowed around you again. Can you imagine? They are referring to tell us where to took them to. And even what they saw. Rather, they are pledging support for that usurper. Even after he kidnapped us. Hmm? 
My friends, those men should be dealt with severely. They betrayed you. Of course. You should deal with them in such a way that they will not forget it in a hurry. Ha! Give me one camera here, you will pull one camera and we're bound to move. A bit of good chat. Well, it is too late for us to be here crying over who is with us or who is against us. We need to move fast. We need to make this coronation work. As soon as Soludo, my son, is crowned king, let me see how that stupid brother of his will come lay claim over the throne. Your Majesty, you are very correct. Very correct. We need to crown the prince as soon as possible. Because we need to get Nkubi, the chief priest, to perform the rites in place of Unu as custom and tradition demands. It's okay. We have to do that once and for all. Since the Honorable Buruburu has refused to perform the right. I am beginning to hate my brother for this. And how could he want to usurp my position? How? My chiefs. We have to hasten up with the coronation. There is no time left. Do whatever you have to do and let's get it done with. You don't need to worry, my son. I am here. I'll make sure no one takes what belongs to you. As for Chimaroke, <laughs> Chimaroke, he is too small a maid for my bite. I will so crush him. I will make sure I crush the living daylight out of him. Let's get to work, my elders. Shimaruki. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, you want to be the bed. <laughs> I have wish here. I have wish here. Who the larger boy on the way out? Who the lecker can a map was off? Who the no logo logo and good one in the city lock? I never knew the name of the dancing. Give by you, I'm Your Majesty, your heart is heavy. Very heavy. The gods are alive for a reason. To guide us to the path which is destined. I know why you are here. But I must tell you that that which you seek is a treacherous one. A very treacherous one. Nkubi, what do you mean? Talk to me. You want me to go against the traditions and customs of this land? You can say that again, Nkubi. You know who is dead. And you know who Buruburu has been bribed. You, Nkubi. You are in the best position to perform the coronation and crown Soludo, my son, the king, who we all know is the first born son of this kingdom and the heir apparent to the throne.
The customs and traditions of this land demands that only the know can perform coronations. The same customs demands that only the first son of the king that comes from the king's loins that can be crowned king. It could be never. I will not sit and watch such calamity before me. Never. Something must be done. That which must be done. Must be done. What you desire is that I go against the traditions of the land. Kobe, you are wise in all ramifications. You, only you, are the mouthpiece of the gods. And you speak their mind. Do this for me. And for the good of the entire kingdom. Crown my son the king. Crown him and make him the king of this kingdom and everything you desire shall be yours. Are you sure you can give me everything I desire? This is Soludo, my son, we are talking about. He will be crowned the king of this kingdom and everything you want shall be met. There is nothing under the sun that cannot be done and undone. Destinies can be altered and situations can be changed to suit us. Your son shall become the next king of Umoba Kingdom. But you will do one thing for me, among other things. Mention your desire, Kobe. I am willing to give. Manichiru nazo megi niru. Manichiru megi nazo. Ada singwe weri elu makana ne amuri anelu. Iyonye metaruburu. You shall have me as your next husband. What? But, but you said anything I ask you can provide.
<laughs> Father, I don't understand why she's unnecessarily working herself up. Oh, really? I am unnecessarily working myself up? I do not blame you. I see the madness that has taken over your fiancé has overtaken you too. Stop it. Don't talk to your sister in that manner. Father, let her talk. She has a mouth. Let her use it. A husband and the brother are having issues with themselves. As a good wife, she's supposed to bring peace and tranquility to the home. He says she's fueling the flame. Oh, so I continue. Oh, I see you, the good wife. The perfect wife. Anyway, whatever you say is your business. My own is that you should go and warn that fiancé of yours to stay away from what rightly belongs to my husband. He is the first son and by right is the heir apparent to the throne. Your husband is just jealous and showing himself, but I promise you we will not condone such rascality. I have finally confirmed that you are stupid. Extremely stupid. It is like you and your husband are stupid. I will not I have you to insult me. You will not insult me. Sit down. I said sit down. Look, I'm highly disappointed in both of you. Is it how you become wives and manage your home? Now, you, Sarochi. Tell me, what did Chimaroke say is the problem? Did he tell you why he suddenly developed interest in the throne? Father, he didn't tell me. I'm as, I'm as surprised as you are. But all I know is whatever is making my husband to be interested in the throne, then it should be worth it because he's not known for fighting for what is not his. Now you're saying he's right, and my husband is an imposter? That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, whatever the problem is, I will find out what it is, but I know there's an issue. All right, and I will dig to it. All right, my daughters. Now go and do as you said, and manage the situation. Useless person. Disrespectful bastard. Fool. Taking what is mine? What is yours? No, make it make sense. You and I grew up in this palace. You very well know I am your elder brother. And the tradition of this kingdom demands that the eldest son ascends the throne after the father's death. So? It's obvious you've not discussed with your mother. What more would she tell me other than the fact that the second wants to take the position of the first? What? Don't you ever call that witch of a woman my mother? Have you gone crazy? What madness has come over you, Chima? It is you, Soludo, and that witch that calls herself your mother. Watch your mouth. Because that woman is your mother. Never! Never in your life would you refer to that witch of a mother as mine. Those years of blindness are over. I've recognized the truth. What truth? No, tell me. What stupid truth of yours have you recognized that will make you rebel against your own family? 
It's obvious you've chosen to remain blinded by that witch that you call mother. But if you ask her, if she has any iota of love in her for you, then she will tell you the truth. <laughs> You're calling war upon yourself, Chima. And when this war comes, I doubt you can handle it. As long as I'm standing on the path of truth, the war that you just mentioned will only consume those who tread on the path of lies and injustice. <laughs> Chima. I have tried to reason with you as a brother. Not once, not twice. But you have chosen to remain adamant. Just so you know, I won't let you take what belongs to me. Never. I will do everything possible to destroy you. Saludo. <laughs> As long as I live, I will never allow both you and your mother if I take anything that belongs to me ever again. I will fight and I must win. Okay then. The war has been declared. Let's see who perishes in this royal room. Been. Where did you go by this time of the night? My gold, you worry too much. Come on. <laughs> I only went to have a word with my brother. But now I'm regretting why I went to the first place. I should have been here spending the night. Spending the night with him. Are you trying to tell me you didn't iron things out with him? There's nothing to iron out. Unless, of course, he's willing to step aside. Allow tradition to get full course. I will become the next king. It's my bed, right? How come you now want the throne never to prevent him from being so badly that you are now at war with your brother? Look, all I need from you right now is love, trust, and support. You know me too well. Okay? You've got nothing to worry about. And you know that I don't just go after anything without knowing exactly what to do. I trust you. You have my support. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have been commanded by the gods to bring this message to the royal palace of Umoba Kingdom. Our ancestors have given their verdict over the royal torso between Prince Soludo and Prince Chimaroke. They say Prince Soludo is the next king according to tradition. Hence, he has to quicken his marriage plans with his bride-to-be as soon as possible before coronation. This is the voice of Unkubi, but the message of the gods. Long live the royal dynasty of Omoba Kingdom. Unkubi, you lie! Unkubi, I challenge you today that you lie against the gods of our land. I. Prince Chimaroke Nzeribe, 
Ochiawan of Umuagwa Kingdom said so. And may the gods raise their wrath on anybody who does or says otherwise. Shimaru. Maloki. Soludo. Solemn. Shimaru. Asim Gimaloki. Soludo. Solemn. You have demanded way too much the wrath of the ancestors. Do not be surprised when they visit you with surplus. <laughs> if the gods you speak about are the ones who see through their pockets and erected manhood, through those cheap drinks and cheap colonauts, then your gods must be crazy. Oh. Son, your coronation has come to be. The Queen Mother. I can see he's frustrated. I can. Yes, <laughs> I have heard everything you said, my son. First thing first, finalize your marriage right. Mother, I'm already on that. Then I'll direct you what to do. But I just need to be convinced beyond any reasonable doubt that I'm fighting a just cause. My son, misleading you is like misleading myself. You are the chosen king of Umuaba kingdom. Fight off every fear in your mind and use the same force you're using to fight for your right. You are not having any traditional marriage rights today because I chose this day. You lie. It is your traditional marriage that will not hold because I chose this day first. You are so shameless. No, you are the shameless one. Dare me and watch me make a disaster out of your marriage. You will not shut, shut up. See, we have you and I feel shut up, both of you. I'm your father. I'm the one to give you out in marriage. I'm the one to decide how and when your bride price we be paid. Father, why don't you tell this traitor of a sister to choke on her? Don't jealousy. insult me, Father. Want her? You are just I will squeeze like out of you. I will not. I will become a queen. You will not. I will never be a queen, except I'm dead. If you talk again, I will reject your bride price. Come in. And to what evil do I do this visit? Such. My queen. One 
many things. Chimaroke, you are a full fledged prince, and you have all the rights and privileges as your brother. But kingship position is just a mere title. You are as much a king in this palace, with or without coronation. Tell me, why are you fighting your family over something you already have? Why? Your Majesty, you taught us that in Africa, tradition is sacrosanct. You also made me believe that my brother would confessed in everything we do and shared because he is my senior. And I did that with all pleasure. But now that I found out that I'm the true heir to the throne, why don't you respect that too? I want us to settle this here and now. How about your brother Saludo, the crowned king, and you, Chimaroke, will be on the front line of all the decisions making as long as Umoba Kingdom is concerned. How about that? I will not. Hmm? Your Majesty, when the gods call, you answer. I do not want to answer them in my early grave. Because that is the consequence of who goes against the voice of the gods. Good night, Your Majesty. My destiny. Akala Gabo. Yako Gabo. It's my destiny. Akala Gabo. Ifechuku Melo Mado Yako Gabo. The road might be wrong. But I'll keep on trading this path. With enemies surround I keep fighting until I win Chukukumunazu I cannot lose what is mine Chukumelumese I'm taking over, I'm taking over Chukukumunazu I cannot lose what is my chukumelumese. I'm taking over, I'm taking over. Yeah. And then I get to meet your mother. And I'm so happy. <laughs> this is really a proud moment for me. I can always. I know, right? <laughs> Yes. Order. 
<laughs> My dear. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Good day. Yes. You're welcome. Yeah. <sighs> Mother? Yes, my dear. Meet my beautiful bride, Saruchi. Saruchi, meet my lovely biological mother. Your biological mother? Yes, she is. You're welcome, my daughter. May the gods bless your coming into my family. Say. Sergi, you still remember her, right? Don't tell me she's the one. Yes, she is. I am very happy to announce to you that as you are now officially married, your coronation will be taking place this weekend. Mm -hmm. And it is going to be a spectacular one. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ichie. This news you have brought has really gladdened our hearts. And it goes to buttress the fact that you have been a very good friend of this royal household. <laughs> Thank you, Chie. <laughs> um, that's not all, my prince. The chief priest, Nkubi, will in place the Onu to crown you this weekend. And I believe the coronation will mark the end of crisis in this palace. Good news. That's good news. I am happy. We, we are happy. I'm happy that we, we all did our job very well. But we must go back to ensure that nothing interrupts the coronation. It's quite unfortunate I heard that some are uh, showing sympathy on Chimaroke. However, that would not distract tradition. The coronation must take place. My son shall be crowned king. King Soludo, King of Umobo Kingdom. The thought and nothing shall distract it. Your Majesty, there is nothing to worry about. Everything has been put in place. We are waiting for the day, yes. the D day, so that tradition will take its place. <laughs> Thank you so much, my elders. And in addition to everything we have said today, I'd like to reassure you once again that your efforts shall be handsomely rewarded. <laughs> if you don't mind, you may excuse us now. I have something important to discuss with my mother. Thank you, my chiefs. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> Mother. Good news. Good news. Finally. Finally. The chief priest, Mukubi, will do that in place of the no. No, 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 no. Then in that case, we have to go and see him. He's the eyes and ears of the gods and he knows the truth. He knows that no one can be coronated as king in our community here without the no. He cannot coronate Prince Soludo as the king because we don't have a chosen no yet. On the contrary, Chief Soludo. Our tradition demands that when the Ono who dies before the coronation of the king, that the chief priest will do that in place of the Ono. Oh, in that case, we have to tell him the truth. That Prince Chibaroke is the first biological son of King Nzeribe. Why do I have this feeling that chief priest Nkubi does not like the truth? 
Uh, he's a very wise one. He has his ears to the mouth of the gods. He will not do anything that our tradition does not ascribe to. Well, in that case, you have to go alone. Because, I mean, I know I've dropped my points and I've made it very clear to him before. Thank you, my prince. Wise one, the custodian of our ancient mysteries. We have come to see you for consultation. We know you know why we are here. I know why you are here. But I must tell you that your journey has been a futile one. You shouldn't have come. Wise one, what do you mean by our journey here has been futile? We only came to demand that our tradition chooses who the next king of Omova Kingdom is. Yes, you cannot crown one who is not... Who is not what? Who is not what, I ask you? The gods give to the people what they desire. Everything must not be what it seems. Yes. Wise one. The crystallizes of the wisdom of the ancients. You know Prince Soludo is not the heir to the throne and yet you want to go ahead and crown him? Wise one, you are still confusing us. You know Soludo is not the heir to the throne. I believe the gods have given you the wisdom. What you don't understand is why you still insist in crowning him the king. The gods give to the people what they desire and the people accept what the gods give them like i said before your journey has been a futile one now listen soludo will be crowned the next king of umoba kingdom and there is nothing i mean nothing anyone including you we do about it. Period. <laughs> yes. Uh, never. Uh, I said never. It cannot happen. <laughs> <laughs> My prince, my, my prince, as if you knew it, Nkubi is biased. It, it beats me, really. Someone who is meant to be upholding the customs and traditions of our land is acting all despicable. I mean, how can he go ahead and crown Saludo even when he knows the truth that he's not the firstborn son? My prince. We are all surprised at the actions of the chief priest. I don't even know why the gods still are patient with him till this point. I suspect he has been bribed, compromised or something like that. I can't believe it. I can't. How would this be happening to me? How? No, no, no. Am I supposed to just sit back there, relax and watch Soludo? Soludo take my own bed, right? No. I have to do something. I need to do something drastic to end whatever he has, whatever claim he's got for the throne. I'm sure we'll work out something soon. Hmm? Please. 
No. I have to go. I have to go and see my mother. Uh, then we'll go with you. My yes. Talk to me, what is the problem? But our hope is lost. The Soludo will be crowned the next king of Umwapa Kingdom. Chief Priest Nkubi is going ahead with the coronation, knowing fully that he's not entitled to the throne. Look, Nkubi is a very corrupt man. He desecrates his office and his position as a chief priest. I really can't believe that he will crown Soludo as a king when he knows that that is not right. My son, all hope is not lost. Becoming the king is your destiny, and no one will take that away from you. But how do you know this? Eh? Because as we speak, the chief priest is going ahead with the coronation. Only the Onowo will crown the next king. In the absence of the Onowo, the chief priest steps in. Right? The Onohu that was murdered was never chosen by the gods. He was imposed on the people because he knew the royal secret. The legitimate Onohu left the land when the royal injustice started because he didn't want to contaminate his relationship with the gods. He was a great seer and only him can crown the next king. His name is Odumeje. He was a great Uno of Umoba Kingdom, a great man of integrity. He willingly abdicated his office and went on self-exile so that he wouldn't be corrupted. But he still holds the original kingmaker's staff of power, Dauphine. He is a man of integrity and he will never succumb to earthly desires. What do you mean? The same of Fani, the one that sits on the throne as we speak? Yes. When the time comes, the Afani will determine who the real kingmaker is. You are the king that was promised, and you shall rule your kingdom till the last of your days. The people might decide to choose their kings, but the gods choose theirs. Come, my son, the throne of Umoba is yours. <laughs> you shall be wearing the crown and bearing the burden of this kingdom on your shoulders. Because you are the true born king. Do not be distracted by the action of men. Because there are jokes for the gods to do whatever they want. I shall cleanse and commit you to the gods. No message of death shall meet you. Because you are the promised one. The one true king. But I, I do not know where you live, or do you? Wisdom is from the gods. The gods allow us to see the things they want us to see. I shall see you tonight.
I just want to be sure that you receive the information. I am doing nothing with you. I'm doing nothing with you. Abba. Go go nyamba de. Ota Bruno mo. Gaije. 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 I know you must come. And I know why you are here. When mortals begin to play gods, it spells doom for the people. Why have you decided to soil your hands in impunity, thereby bringing shame and disgrace to the deities you serve? I work for the interest of the people, and I do what pleases everyone. It could be worth a minute. By everyone you mean the queen who has given you her body in order to see this shameful act she wants to carry out. You have decided to take the powers of the land in your hands, thereby disrespecting the customs and traditions of the land. You know it will not do anyone any good. I don't care what you know. Neither do I care about what you feel or what is right or wrong. All I know is that the true king will be crowned tomorrow. Tomorrow! And nothing, nothing anyone, including you, Odumeje, will do about it. You are very correct. Yes, the true king will certainly be crowned tomorrow. But it will not be the king you plan. And who will stop me? Who? You? The gods will stop you in their own time and in their own way. The only thing I assure you is that the true king will be crowned tomorrow. The king promised to his people. I want to let you know that. You don't try anything. I mean anything to stop him. Is that a threat? Is that a threat or what? You will know when the time comes. No problem. When we get to the bridge, we will know how to cross it. You wait and see. You wait and see, Nkube. <laughs> <laughs> he who dares, he who dares to swim with the crocodile must learn how to swim under the belly of the crocodile. So Ludo will be crowned tomorrow. Yes, he will be crowned tomorrow. And there is nothing, I mean nothing, anyone will do about it. Let the person there try and see what will happen. Let the person there try and smell his doom. Including you, Odumeje, try and see what will happen.
you will have a pure heart. And with this purity, no harm shall befall you. Any plans of your enemy against you shall not bear fruit. They have taken more than enough from you, and they will take no more. You have been fortified against man-made death. Now I ask, are you ready for the mantle of leadership? Yes, I am. Will you lead your people in justice and truth? Yes, I am. You are now the crown prince from the gods. You will rule your people against all odds. And no one will have anything to do with your destiny. Nothing shall stop you from achieving your destiny. My destiny, Akala Kabo, if a chuku melo mado yako gabo, it's my destiny, Akala Kabo. If it's you who melo mado yako gabo, the road may be wrong, but I keep on treading this path with enemies surround. There is a saying that no one battles with his ancestors and goes on hot. The tradition of Omoba Kingdom is not the making of mortars, but the footprints of the gods. Queen Zikora, you know the truth, but you have decided to tread the path of greed and foolishness. It is written that the first book prince shall be crowned king. Chimaroki here is the chosen one. You know it. Desist from waging battles with gods that are mightier than you. Else you perish. So you have been the one. You have been behind this whole madness. Need I remind you that you ceased being the owner of this kingdom over 20 years ago? We have a chief priest in this kingdom who doubles as an interim owner. Only he has the right to speak the minds of the gods and traditions. Mbajina kali runa kwa bro makankeji mbazuwe muji. Do not allow me to mess you up. Don't allow me to order the youths of Umobad Kingdom to mess you up. Get out. Get out of this kingdom. You. You imposter. Destiny, it's my destiny. If you melo mado yako gabo, the road may be wrong, but I'll keep on treading this path with enemies surround. I keep fighting until I win. Chuku kumunazu. I cannot lose what is my Chuku melumeze. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. Chuku kumunazu. I cannot lose what is my Chuku melumeze. 
said out there. He said that Chimaruki is the firstborn son of our father and therefore the rightful one to be crowned the king. He challenged you to deny it and you did not. It is not happening. This is not happening! Talk to no. me, mother. What do you know? Shut up. Just shut up! We have been challenged. Instead of whining, we need to develop a new plan. I've never seen anything like this, mother. I mean, how can two chief priests declare two brothers kings? Where on earth does it happen that two brothers are king at the same time in the same kingdom? Is that not a taboo of the highest order? Soludo, why are you too forgetful? I told you that the enemies of this kingdom will seize this period of transition to fight against the mother kingdom. They did this when your father was to become the king. They also did it at the time of your great grandfather. It is your time to conquer, man up, and be the king that you are. Mother, you talked about enemies, but these are family members. These are not our enemies. So what is going on? Well, the major used to be the son of this kingdom over 20 years ago. Why do you think he's coming back now, if not to cause havoc? to cause havoc in a land he hated and abandoned for donkey years. Use your brain, Saludo. Think. Odumeje! <laughs> Chief, Chief. <laughs> yes, as we speak, I'm in a celebration mood. Celebrate, yes. Because you, <laughs> you are dining with a lioness. You know, we believe that lions are a king of the jungle. But Joe Wild made us understand a lioness rules forever. You know what a lioness can do? Quit the celebration on time. Do not say I don't want you. <laughs> yeah, so like I was saying, this is only the beginning of the light and celebration. It is only the beginning of good things to come for the people of Omoa Kingdom. <laughs> chief, chief! 
<laughs> yeah. No! No! Mother, what's going on with your family? What's going on? I need to find it. No! 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 Sit down. I don't have time to sit. You promised me. You promised me that nothing would disrupt my son's coronation. You assured me. I gave you my body for this. Now, the Ofani is missing. You and I know how powerful Odumeje is. Though he's not a native doctor. And he knows the truth. The whole truth about your son. I want Chimaroke dead. I want him out of my son's way. That boy has beaten more than he can swallow. I should have killed him as a child. Yes. I should have. Your Majesty. I should have killed him as a child. Nkobi. I want Chimaroke dead. Kill him! Kill him right now. Now! Um, Your Majesty, his death is inevitable. Yes, before you even mentioned it, I had already thought about it. But uh, if we do anything to him now, it will raise eyebrows. I don't care how many eyebrows it raises. After all, people will think that he was struck dead by the gods for contesting the tradition. When the gods are left with one choice, Theophany, where is surface? Kill him! Or, I will kill you. <laughs> I love you so much, baby. I love you too, darling. You're mine now. My wife. My queen. And I'm so, so proud to see the fight in you. We are one. You're my first and the most important person in my family right now. And that's the true meaning of marriage. I'm indeed blessed to have you as my beloved wife. Same here. Mm. Okay. <laughs> mm. My gold, I want to tell you this story in front of my mother, just in case I forget to add anything. You're my wife now, okay? And you deserve to know everything. You see, my mother here was Queen Zikora's best childhood friend before she got married to my late father, King Nzeribe. On the night of their wedding, something happened. Baby, 
Baby, are you okay? Baby? What happened? Baby? Mama? 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 Baby? Mama? Mama? Chimaroke! I said die! Chimaroke! Die! 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 Betrayer of the gods! Go on and take your own life! How dare you? How dare you? After all the warning I gave to you, you still decided to harm an innocent child of destiny. Are you not afraid? You had the guts to step into my shrine to challenge my powers. It is time for you to die. It is time for you to die. This is the very last warning. Else, you will take your own life by your own self. Udumeje, you lie. You lie. You shall die. Like I said, this is the very last warning. Anytime you try to terminate the life of Chimaroke will be your last moment on the surface of the earth. I have spoken. Emily, I need you to do me a favor. A favor? I understand that you're into those cosmates. I'm also aware that you are friends with Princess Adora of Muagba Kingdom. You are right. I'm also aware that you have facts about Inchido's past relationship with Fred. Yes. Let me have your details. 2062. Bank. Which bank? Two million naira. What am I supposed to do with this money? Am I supposed to buy anything for you? Listen, I want you to help me implicate my sister before Princess Adora. I want to get back my man that she snatched. She has nothing to lose. Implicate, you say? How am I supposed to implicate my own friend? That's because you have a fat sum of two million naira right now in your account like i said your best friend has nothing to lose get to work i want to ask you a simple question and i need you to give me a simple answer what information do you have about Chimaroke. Your Majesty, I have no information about the prince. Will you shut up, you stupid thing? I ran an investigation on you. I know where your parents live. If you do not want me to hurt your loved ones, I want you to speak. I order you to speak! Your Majesty, please. I do not have any tangible information about Prince Chimaroke. Look me in the eyes and say that. Majesty. Do you promise that the next time I call you, you will give me information? Yes, yes, Your Majesty, I promise. You need to put your eyes and ears to the ground. Get tangible information about what he's doing, where he wants to go, who he is seeing, what he eats, drinks, discuss even with his wife. If not, I will hurt your loved ones. Please, Your Majesty, I promise you I will give you all the information you need. Please don't touch my family. Get out. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs>
My dear, I'm going to miss you and Same all of my here. friends. Same here too. Um, princess. Yeah. You know we friends for long. And we should watch each other back. <laughs> of course. Hmm. It's about your brother's wedding plan. What about his wedding plan? Oh. It's rather you see for yourself. Check. What is this? Just see for yourself. Excuse me. Hello? Yes. Have you packed all my bags in the car? Hello? Stop. Desist from giving her the photos. I am no longer interested in Prince Solo though. What are you saying? I've already given her the envelope. And how do you expect me to collect it from her? You did what? What's her reaction? Please tell her it's Photoshop. Huh? She's about to open it. Retrieve the envelope immediately. Do it now. Okay, for how much? Are you out of your mind? Retrieve the envelope from her now. I said for how much she's about to open it. Okay, 500,000. All right. Make sure you tell them to pack everything. I don't want to lose any of my luggage. Yes, they should check the room. Make sure they check the room. Okay. All right. So, Spina, what time are we going to reach that hotel tomorrow? Well, I'm thinking tomorrow evening will be perfect. Yeah, because I want <laughs> I want to arrive up to the ground. We will be going with the chiefs to get her afterwards. We'll celebrate her here. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I can't wait either. <laughs> so baby, mm -hmm. which of these meals should I serve you first? Uh, I'm thinking the bananas will do this first. <laughs> okay. Your Majesty. Any information for me? Yes, a little, Your Majesty. Speak. The prince is planning on going for a special meeting tomorrow with his wife. Where are they going? Um, I didn't really hear them well, but something like rich, rich hotel, Richie, Richie Hotel. Yes, it's a hotel. Richie? When are they going there? Um, tomorrow afternoon. In the afternoon. Mm. Good. Good information. Thank you, Your Majesty. You must never speak to anyone about this if you love your life. I won't. Keep any... your mouth shut. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. 
Mama. Yes. You become coming with us. Yes. I'm so happy. I know. Mm. So this is the woman you now call mother. The reason for all your madness. Brother, you completely disrespect our mother by calling this thing your mother. I mean, how? By the way, what's that special royal necklace doing on her neck? Did father resurrect? I've been meaning to tell you this all along. So tell me what? This woman, she's my real mother. She happens to be the queen's best friend. Yeah. On a certain night, she got laid by the king and became pregnant. On that very night, the queen also took him and became pregnant. So when the secret leaked, she had to go meet the queen to ask for forgiveness. And she also offered to have me, her own child, and handed over to the queen to raise both you and I as brothers. They swore an oath of secrecy, which is fully represented by what you see her wearing on the neck. Yes. On the Queen's desperation to cover up all secrets, she decided to kill my mother to cover up all tracks. But unfortunately, she survived and only lost her mind. As we speak, the Queen is not aware that my mother is still very much alive. So, brother, you see why I have chosen to lay claim to the throne. Because it is my birthright. No. No, this is this is this is not happening. You you are lying. What what jargon are you talking? What what? Soludo, Soludo. Have you done the job? Wonderful. I'll meet you at our spot right away. You don't need to. I will be there for your balance. Good. Chimaroki's real mother. I need answers. What stupid question? Talk to me, mother. I need answers. Who is his mother? What matters is that you will be crowned the next king of this kingdom. 
You have still not answered my question, mother. I have a royal meeting to attend. Excuse me. More scandals after this dust set up. Mama, mm. no shaking. <laughs> we'll deal with you. Thank you. Do not tell me that that idiot has constituted another nuisance. He's dead. Who? Chimaroki was attacked by assailants. Before anyone could help, they came back and cut it away with his body. No, 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 no. Mother. Oh, not my son. Oh, ah, oh, oh, oh. Mother, God, God. What I thought you. Whatever you are doing, don't die. Why would you allow that to arrest you? Why? <laughs> Idiot. Bastard. You know, when a child starts asking what killed the mother, automatically, what killed the mother will kill him. Chimaroke, you refuse to know your boundaries. <laughs> Well, let me see how you will raise from the dead to contest for the throne with my beloved son. Now listen, when next you come to this world, you should know there are people born in full moon, half moon, moon 
is not moon. There are many types of moon. Cornelius, rest in peace, boy. I raised the beast, but that beast never knew that I, Queen Zikora, a thought for Mumba Kingdom, is a monster. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Yeah, welcome. Ah, Majesty, you did not do much for me. You don't need to mention it. Get ready to become the honor of this kingdom. Your Majesty, thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Come through the back door. Get Come out! On. When the gods make their choice, they go all the way to protect their choice. Twice have you attempted to silence the voice of the gods. And a thousand times have they proven to you that the wisdom of the gods is far greater than mankind. The wisdom of mankind. Chimaruki, you're alive? Point of correction. Address the king as his majesty. Shut up! Shut him out, Odumeje. Your relevance in Umoba kingdom expired many years ago. You don't have right to say who is king in this kingdom. Then I have a bigger surprise for you. No, no, she's, she's dead. You know her? So you know her? She, she died 27 years ago. She, she's dead. Soludo, I've been trying to tell you this for a long time now. The both of them are best of friends. Your evil mother tried to kill her. But unfortunately, she survived. Mother, is, can a dead man talk? I'm alive. Untimely death shall not befall he who bears the assignment of the gods on his shoulders. You shall remain here until the spiritual assignment to the throne is concluded. No evil that shall befall you. You shall live to claim your throne. You have been set aside to take care of this throne and you, your people, and rule your people with justice and truth. So shall it be. No! You're dead. Mother. You're dead! I killed you! I killed you 27 years ago. Mother, what are you saying? Shut up! Shut him up! Hey. Hey, 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 hey. I killed you! I want you buried. 
I attended your burial. I was there at your funeral. And you, I sent my boys to kill you. I watched the video. You're a dead man. And you, you died 20 years ago. To my chain. And we're walking cops. You, you're dead. You're dead. You, 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 you're dead. What? All of them. You're all dead. I killed you. I killed all of you. What are you doing? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Hey, 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 hey. Shut up! 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 Shut